Today we're gonna to look at Edelkron's brand new Slider Plus version two, and this is the medium, and we're gonna compare it to the original Slider Plus. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with what the Slider Plus is, it is the world's only slider that can travel twice its own length. Now, it achieves this by utilizing a double action slide by using two carriages. One carriage is connected to your tripod and the other carriage is connected to your camera. And those two carriages are then connected with a belt. This achieves a few things. One is portability. It easily fits into a camera bag and is one of the biggest reasons that I replaced my old three foot slider with one of these. Now the other reason is that it allows you to utilize a wider angle lens for your push in or pulling out shots. So let me show you this. Now if this was a regular slider and I were to pull back with a wide angle lens and I've got mounted on here a 17 millimeter lens with a full frame camera, you're gonna see the end of that traditional slider in the shot. Whereas the slider plus, because of the double action design, the rail pulls out as the camera pulls back. So it gives you a greater range to get those wide angle pushing in or pulling out type of shots. So let's compare the original Slider Plus to the version two. And one of the biggest differences is the construction of the unit. Now, all of the steel pieces here have been replaced. The V2 is now made out of um, high grade aluminum. It's fully CNC'd and it's anodized black. Now, this new aluminum designs results in a few different things. It's actually about a quarter of a pound lighter than the original and it improves upon its strength and rigidity. This is actually really, really solid for its design. And not only is it lighter and stronger, but the medium size is actually a few inches longer than the original. The rollers have also been replaced by a series of plastic rollers. This gives an even quieter operation than the original. Now they've also included an Allen wrench. Now this Allen wrench adjusts the action between the rollers and the rails. So this allows the user to easily maintain the action of their slider, even in the field um, with this simple tool. And there's some adjustment screws on the top of the tripod carriage in order to um, adjust the action of those rollers. They now include two different mounting screws for mounting the camera heads to the camera platform. One is quarter 20 and the other one is a 3 8 The bottom of the slider still uses a standard 3 8 inch connection. The locking mechanism has also been replaced with a more secure lock. The original had a break and that's here but it really never offered much of a real solid hold like the new lock does. It physically drops a piece of metal in between this spot here to give you the best and most solid hold. This isn't going anywhere. The version two now comes stock with a cloth belt. Now this cloth belt offers a little bit smoother of a ride and it doesn't have the memory effect that rubber uh, suffers from. So. Now you can see how this is pulling back to the center position. And that's actually because I do have a rubber geared belt installed to this. That's because I plan on utilizing this slider with Edelkron's brand new Wizard and their targeting motion control units. Now these units are actually only compatible with the version two series of slider. Now, if you wanna learn more about these motion control units, check out my other videos. If you do not plan on getting the motion control units, then there's no need for the geared belt. If you do purchase the motion control unit, it does come with a geared belt and you'll have to replace your cloth belt with that geared belt in order for it to work. There's some things that haven't changed between the original and the version two, and those are the leveling legs. Now, they only adjust a small amount and so that's only really good for leveling out the slider on a semi-flat surface. Uh, now, if you're not putting the slider on a tripod, then you're not getting the full slide. 
To take advantage of the slider's full slide capability, you're really going to want to put it on a tripod. All right, well, that concludes our look at Edelkron's brand new Slider Plus version two. And as always, thanks for watching.